Hey, I'm Cosmo, and on today's video, we're doing ribs, and a lot of them. Hey, I'm Cosmo, and if you love grilling and barbecue, then this is the channel for you. So subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss a thing. So on today's video, we're doing ribs, and we're gonna be doing ribs on the pit barrel cooker. I got it running in the background. We have baby bags here, and we got nine slabs. We're gonna put every one of them inside that pit barrel cooker. So let's just jump right into it. We're gonna season the backs of these with some Dirty Bird. I love the Dirty Bird. It's got a nice savory, so you get that salty goodness when you bite into it. A little bit of chilies in there a little bit of pepper, paprika, cumin. We're not gonna get crazy rubbing these. We have a, a bunch of guests coming over today, so I figure, why not? So let's get them flipped over. Now these ribs today are gonna be hung from start to finish. And if you've never hung ribs, golly, these are, these are probably my favorite ribs to cook at home, man. You get a nice little crusty char on them. So once again, little dirty bird. You gotta love the Oklahoma wind. It blows the shit everywhere in your eyes and everything. That's okay. You should smell these already. Now we're gonna do these a little bit different. We're gonna do half of them with our sweet honey pecan, and we're gonna do the other half with our killer beet chipotle. This is where that nice char comes in with the sugars and the sweetness. These are awesome. This pit barrel, it doesn't mind. It'll run hot, cold, wind, no wind. And the great thing about it is you just set that little thing to your altitude and rock on. Now some of you are probably wondering, Nine slabs, Cosmo, the pit barrel only comes with eight hooks. Aww. True. I went on there and I bought an extra set because Ray. I have done as many as 12 slabs on here. And when you're doing these, you wanna hook as far down as you can. I always try to grab that second bone because you just wanna barely have that hook showing. Just hook under that second bone, flop it down. All righty, let's get these suckers hung. So we have this lit with just Kingsford. And we're rocking it with some pecan. For the masses, man, <laughs> you can rock and roll them. All right, let's get that lid on. We'll come back and check them out in about 30, 45 minutes. So this is our one hour check. What we're looking for is them bones just to be pulled back about a half inch. That's how you can tell they're done. Looking beautiful. All right. I'm gonna crack this just a little bit and that just kind of speeds up the cooking. All right, so we're right at two and a half hours. Oh yeah, they're coming along nice. Bones are starting to pull back on that one. Yep. That one's probably pretty close to being done. Nine racks of ribs. <laughs> that not the craziest thing? I've done as many as 12 on here. Um, it gets a little compact, but you can dang sure do it. So we're gonna give about 30 more minutes and then we'll come back and check them again. All right, guys. So it's been right at three hours. Oh yeah, you can see it. See how the bones are pulling back? These suckers are done. So we're gonna go ahead and get them off. Get them taken over here, plated up, sauced up, cut up, then ate up. Yeah, we got a little crusty down there. That's how I like them. So these cooked up perfect. I wish you guys could see this color and they just feel amazing. You can always kind of tell when they're done. See how the, the bones are pulling back? That's a good indicator. But here's, a, here's the, the tell all. When you pull these, they just, you see how they just start immediately coming apart. And you can always tell on the back too. You can crack, see that, see that, that bone coming off that meat? That's, a, that's how you tell these are done every single time. So I'm gonna go ahead and sauce one of these up. So we're gonna sauce this one up with our cherry habanero. And if you guys haven't tried this one, this one is, this one will blow your mind. It's not near as hot as what the name sounds, but geez, it is good. And we're gonna do this one with our honey jalapeno. Just remember when you guys are doing this, make it fun. We just rubbed these and threw them on the smoker, didn't foil them, didn't do anything. Just threw them on and went and hung out. 
And you guys can do this every single day. And who wouldn't want to turn out ribs that look like this and taste like this? I promise you, man. This is rib cooking 101 right here. This is borderline a competition rib. This is realistically my cross between a competition rib and just a good backyard home rib. So hey guys, that's Cosmo's Ribs 101 on the pit barrel. When you gotta cook ribs for the masses, there's just no easier way. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and there's another video right down below me. I'll see you guys in the next one.